Hello out there everyone. Um, I am coming to you from Nantahala National Forest here in western North Carolina and this is the uh, last ride of the last day of my spring 2012 motorcycle trip and it's been a it's been a good one. The, uh, the weather hasn't been as nice as I might have wanted but uh, I didn't really get rained on during the day when I was out riding and that's what really counts so I can't really complain. Um, all of my previous trips down here to do my motorcycle ride have always I have always used a motel as a base of operations and it's nice at the end of the day to um, you know come back to the nice cold beers and the cable TV and the uh, hot showers maybe some takeout from a local restaurant but I have chosen to do this particular trip with a twist I have traded all those comforts in for the uh, much less obvious comforts of this my humble camp welcome to Camp DP and I'm no Daniel Boone I'll tell you that I don't think I have been camping since oh geez since I was a teenager I don't think but uh, yeah something possessed me and I, I got the bug last winter and I kind of planned on it and here we are and it's worked out pretty well I have to say um, it's a fairly primitive camp I mean there's no potable water there's no electricity no uh, no toilets and um, well just sort of make do and pardon my laundry by the way it's been pretty wet until today over the last few days and I had to put some stuff out this morning it was such a nice drying day so yeah I've done pretty good um, you know packed everything I need in here I did have to make one trip to a store there's a store about 10 miles from here a little country store and I had to go there yesterday for a bag of ice I do still have cold beers by the way and the main feature of this little camp I'm gonna walk down here and show you I said we have no potable water running water however we have an abundance it just wouldn't be recommended to drink it you just you never know what's going on upstream I mean it certainly looks all nice and clear and cold this is Santitla Creek and it makes its nice little burbling music 24 hours a day very pleasant it's very very pleasant I love that sound and it's just relaxing to listen to and to watch I especially like it at night when I go to the tent climb in my sleeping bag and instead of hearing those creepy nighttime forest noises you hear this nice gentle sound of the creek gurgling by there's uh, probably eight or nine campsites along that road we were just on that uh, sit next to this creek and there's no charge To stay here they do expect you to leave after 14 days tonight will be my fourth night there's no chance that I will make it for 14 but I have enjoyed it it's been a nice change of pace will I do it again in the fall I don't know maybe not 
maybe it'll be a springtime thing. So there you have it from Camp DP in Western North Carolina and my uh, trusty old DR650 once again behaved very well. I managed to keep my fender bag on this time. It's all good. thought I'd add a little postscript here and uh, I don't know when this happened. It could have been today, it could have been two days ago, I have no idea. But this rack on the back uh, started to come adrift at some point. I think what must have happened was the bolt here that uh, attaches it to the fender must have vibrated loose and then at some point the tubing here on the left hand side sheared and the only thing holding it in place was uh, the bracket on the right hand side or I guess the top box and the uh, gallon and a half of gas that was in there and the uh, couple of hundred miles of really bumpy and rocky forest roads that I've been riding well obviously took its toll so I may have to rethink this arrangement, but um, I got away with it. It would have been pretty easy for this whole thing to go just clattering on down the road some at some point, but it didn't, and um, I got lucky. I thought I would add another quick post grip. Uh, post post script I suppose you would call it um, rather than trying to repair that old rack that I just showed you uh, I found another one on eBay that has um, four mounting points four mounting tabs as opposed to the previous one which just had three so I think this one is going to be a much stronger rack um, better able to carry the weight and I was able to reuse most of my uh, mounting plate that I used to clamp down the um, the uh, fuel tank and the uh, top box. So there you go. Looks like we're uh, back up and running again. Very riveting stuff I know. <laughs>